I'm going to consider the graph of y equals x to the power x. For positive x values, the points are quite straightforward to calculate. If x is 0, there's a slight problem because 0 to the power 0 is not well defined, but it definitely approaches 1. So the ordinary graph so far is as follows. And here it is. Now the problem is, what happens for negative x values? Well, I calculated a few as follows. Now when x is negative, we can find some real y values. If x is negative 1, we get 1 over negative 1 to the power 1, which is negative 1. If x is negative 2, we get 1 over negative 2 squared, which is positive a quarter. And then when x is negative 3, we get negative 1 27th. So I'll put those on the graph. And here they are. Negative 1, negative 1 is there. Negative 2, 1 quarter is there. And negative 3, 1 27th is there. Now we can calculate some other ones in between, but they're not real y values. They have a complex imaginary part. That's why I've just added here an imaginary y axis in order to put these extra points on. Now I calculated a few and I'll show you in the next diagram. Now, if x is negative a half, then y is negative a half to the power negative a half, which is quite difficult to calculate manually. But on modern calculators, the answer comes to 0 minus i root 2. And this is completely imaginary. However, if x is negative a third, we get negative a third to the power negative a third, which has a real part and an imaginary part, so it's fully complex. Now I'll put those points on and show you. Now I calculated quite a few of these, and you can see them here. And we need an extra dimension to put them on, as you can see, using the imaginary y-axis. Now I took the trouble to calculate a great deal of these, as I'll show you on the next diagram. Here I was delighted to see that these, all, these points came to form a spiral. I've put the grid on to make it easier to see in three dimensions. The green points, by the way, are the points which have a completely real y value there in the xy plane as you can see there. Now it took a long time for me to work out the equation of this spiral, but here it is. And the final graph looks like this, as we can see here.